So this is the Keychron K7, and it has the worst sounding thought out of any keyboard I have ever typed on. What the hell? Okay, all jokes aside, I'm actually a massive Keychron fanboy. The K2 was the first mechanical keyboard I ever bought. So let's actually unbox the K7 and check the key features, give it a little performance test, see how it feels and connects with everything, and then of course, see how it sounds. Let's thock. All right, so obviously it did come in a box, but they, they pad these things really, really well. I did buy a little travel pouch. Maybe I'll open that up here in a second. Don't wanna get hurt. So while I'm opening this, I will mention that the K7 is an ultra slim mechanical keyboard. That's kind of the whole selling point. It's a 65% compact layout, as uh, we'll see right here. It does have a hot swappable option. You can actually choose actually a lot of the options with this thing, including just white RB, or excuse me, RBG versus just white backlighting, as well as you can choose a few default Gateron mechanical switches, as well as some optical switches. They do have that as an option as well. And right off the bat, let's just look how ridiculously thin this thing is. Also in the box would be a, a handy little thing, which will tell you how to pair it with up to three Bluetooth devices. It is wireless and wired, I believe. Yes, can confirm, USB-C3 right there. And here are the switches where you will set the Bluetooth to uh, on off, as well as the Windows Android Mac. I've always loved that. I'm a Mac user personally, so I've always used these with my uh, iPads and iPhones, as well as my standard computer. Really handy being able to swap between all those. Uh, also in the box, a user's manual. It does come with a nice braided straight cable right there, as well as a few little extra keycaps. It looks like it has command on there with the, the Mac equivalent by default, but you can swap that out for a Windows key. It does come with a delete key, an orange delete key as well. I don't really know why. I mean, there's a gray delete key. Uh, a super cheap, keycap and switch puller right here. I, I personally hate these things, I'm gonna use my own. All right, so that is what's in the box. I'm gonna connect it to my computer here in a second. But first, my friends, it's time for the first type. So it's worth noting that I ordered this with the uh, blue Gateron low profile mechanical switches. They do have an optical switch option, like I mentioned. And of course the keycaps are insanely thin, low profile. You will not be able to insert standard MX style switches in here. You can't do it. I tried, can't do it. You need those low profile uh, optical things, which, uh, you know, sound okay right off the bat, not great. They sound okay. And so while you can't actually put like uh, MX style switches on there, you can of course replace the keycaps with standard like, you know, MX profiles or whatever. It looks weird. <laughs> I like the low profile knives, but you can do that. So my first thoughts are that it's super lightweight. It's super thin. It still feels nice and sturdy. Uh, it's okay to type on. It feels a little weird. It feels a little just different. I guess I'm used to the higher profile keycaps. And why I love that sound, these blue switches and uh, this way this is currently set up, can you hear that? It's extremely quiet, which isn't always a bad thing if you're in the coffee shop. And I like that the, the keyboard actually doesn't have too much noise and thock, like the decibels aren't just like, the decibels between actually typing on the spacebar and typing on the keys actually seems to fit. I like that inner sound right there. So I'm gonna follow the instructions and connect it. I'm gonna Windows, switch it all over the Bluetooth. It does have an off right in the middle there. That's important to note too. Over to the far right is the cable, but we're gonna use Bluetooth and set it up. It does look like it has battery power. I see the RBG pumping up, which looks nice. You probably can't see it super well right now. I am gonna hold, uh, what is this, function Q? Yeah, function Q for just a couple of seconds. Pair it up nicely here. And uh, just like that, we are connected here. That actually uh, connected super fast, much faster than the RK84, which I did a video on, and it actually took me like 10 minutes to get this thing connected to my computer. This one, however, nice and speedy. Bluetooth connection works well. So now that we're connected, let's actually do a few little typing slash sound test with this bad boy.
Ah, not bad. And I'm actually gonna do like one more. All right, so here are my initial thoughts on the way it looks, feels, sounds, everything. Uh, as somebody who's used the old butterfly keyboards on Macs, I will say this is like a weird cross between a, a super thin Apple keyboard, a butterfly keyboard, and like a mechanical keyboard. It's weird. It's like, it kind of feels like you're typing on the Apple keyboard with just a little bit of, I mean, these are tactile switches, so a little bit of tactility or whatnot, but it feels, rather good. It's a little weird. Takes a little getting used to if you're coming from like SA switches or even just normal, like, you know, OEM MX stuff. I like that it's lightweight, but still really sturdy. I believe that's a aluminum frame. It does have two ergonomic pop-outs uh, feet right there in case you are missing a little bit of rise. I personally just like it flat right here. This is a great travel keyboard. I feel like this is gonna be a travel keyboard of choice for a lot of people, just cause man, you could literally just throw this in with like papers and a backpack or something like that. It's that thin. I'm gonna actually grab the pouch here in a second and uh, we'll take a look at that and see how that fits. But wired, wireless, you can connect to three Bluetooth devices, Windows and Android and or Windows. You can get the red, you can get the blue switches. You can also get, uh, you know, the brown, the mints, or the, the yellows. I can't remember what they call it, bananas. And yeah, it looks great. Sounds okay. It's a little bit softer blue switches than I would like. But I mean, and again, I'll go to the price right here. It's uh, it's 90 bucks. Right, if you get what I have right here, which is the RBG backlight and hot swappable version, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's $90 as you can see right here. And if you want, if you don't need hot swappable, you get 10 bucks off. If you only want the white backlight, it's 20 bucks cheaper. It's 70 bucks right there. Any one of these switches will do just fine. You can do the Gateron or optical. Uh, yeah, I think that's a great deal, especially if you are looking for something in a coffee shop. Man, this might be a, a great way to go. So to sum this up, I am a big fanboy of all Keychron keyboards. I think they make them really well. They all connect nicely. They have good support, which I have used on a few occasions. And I like this low profile stuff, especially if you're thinking about taking it with this bad boy, a pouch of any kind, you'll probably need to get a 65%. And actually out of my own curiosity, I should have done this earlier, but this is exactly 12 inches, one foot long and a little bit less than four inches tall. Sure you can get all that from their website, but whatever. This is the Keychron made pouch, which I don't know how to open. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, just a straight, that's kind of annoying. It might be, I wish they'd just give me a button. But this is actually, it feels really good, really well made. Again, this is from the Keychron website. Yeah. Slide this 65% bad boy right in there. Fits nice and snug. And uh, I guess we just do like this guy. Oh my gosh, this is already gonna annoy me, I can tell. <laughs> I'll probably just do this a few times. There we go. And uh, now we're good to go. Got a nice little travel pack. All right, keyboard fans, thank you for watching this K7 review and unboxing. It's a great keyboard, I hope you check it out. Please consider subscribing if you wanna follow uh, all the great mechanical keyboard news happening around the world. And thanks for watching. I heart you. Adios. Also, this thing kind of looks like all my old grandmother's purses.